Welcome to Ukraine Today. My name is Teres Chechko. Cultural events are gaining more popularity among the Ukrainians. A good example of this is Google Fest 2015, which gathered 80,000 people in one week. At the same time, Ukrainian artists are getting more recognized and demanded outside the country about the upcoming art events in Ukraine and uh, modern art trends, as well as uh, the potential of Ukrainian cultural sphere. I'll talk to Daria Koltsova, Ukrainian artist, performer and the curator of art festivals in Ukraine and abroad. Hello, Daria. It's a great pleasure to, to have you here. Oh, thank you. Yes, it is. I know that at this moment you are preparing, creating the uh, Port of Franco Google Fest. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about this and uh, what is the, the features of, uh, of this festival? Actually, it's a horrible rush hour now because we have only two, week, uh, two weeks uh, uh, to the opening. So uh, we have a really big, actually the first uh, such big festival in the east of Ukraine, in the west of Ukraine, sorry, um, in um, um, Ivano-Frankivsk. It's a small city um, with around uh, two and a half um, hundred of, uh, popula uh, thousand, sorry, of population. Uh, it is situated really near the Carpathian Mountains and uh, I fall in love in its uh, history, mythology and uh, in its legend and tales, you know, all these folklore uh, things. For me, um, it seems really interesting to, to work with a local theme and with a, a local, uh, we can say, uh, cultural code, yeah, uh, but to think global audience in the city because I think it's uh, the main idea of, the, of any festival, you know. So we have their uh, theater program, really wonderful theater program with uh, Georgian theater, Ukrainian theater, uh, Czech theater and uh, international uh, collaboration projects performative projects, uh, then really impressive um, two music programs. One of them um, is my favorite because it is a program of experimental and academic music. So you can feel the fusion, but uh, mixing uh, experimental and uh, academic, uh, there is a synergy between all this. For example, I really hope that uh, I will have time to visit this event that will take place uh, in the uh, main theater of ivano frankivsk Actually, it's a really interesting um, building of modern architecture, uh, really, you know, Sovietic, but really interesting for uh, foreign, foreign viewers. So um, it will last uh, the event, music event, uh, the whole night, and um, uh, visitors will lie on the floor on mattresses and uh, uh, feel the music and uh, uh, see the video projections on the floor and uh, they will come on the evening and they will live on the just morning. So it's like uh, a meditation, you know, the whole night. And uh, the soloist um, of the uh, opera in Vienna, Lena Belkina, uh, will, uh, will make a performance uh, on the <coughs> train station in Ivano-Frankivsk and uh, I hope we will create the vitro of Roman Minin there. What about other cities in Ukraine? What they will be rich for? Actually the next is uh, in Lviv. Uh, 25th of uh, June, uh, we have two vernissages in Lviv. First of them is a really interesting project, uh, Kilim. It was created in the um, west of Ukraine, uh, in the heart of Carpathian Mountains, in Tatariv. It's a small village. Um, it is a project that also makes these uh, folk things and contemporary art. Another exhibition of contemporary art, uh, and uh, not only contemporary, that will take place in, also in Lviv. And uh, the same date and the same place, and it's also really interesting, in the uh, Palace of Patotsky. Someone can stay uh, also in Lviv and to, to hear uh, music and to visit uh, jazz, Alpha Jazz uh, Fest, that also takes place in Lviv. It's a wonderful jazz festival. And then uh, I think the next uh, uh, must visit event, uh, absolutely it is a, a film festival in Odessa. What about Kiev? What Kiev will be full for? In August we have lots of exhibitions. 
in uh, different galleries, art centers, museums that tell uh, the story of Ukraine, of self-identification, of contemporary art and contemporary culture. I think that uh, the most interesting uh, will take place in Mestetsky Arsenal, it's a national museum, really big, uh, in a wonderful um, before uh, war um, building, uh, there was a factory um, of weapons. Um, and uh, today it works uh, as an art center and as a museum and exhibitions uh, <coughs> change there every one uh, or three months. Uh, so uh, they will open uh, the first floor for the first time um, and I think it will be really interesting. So uh, Art Kiev Contemporary starts from the August. Mm -hmm. And uh, also uh, for the whole uh, summer we have a wonderful exhibition in Pinchukar Center. Pinchukar Center is uh, the only contemporary art uh, private museum in Ukraine. Uh, there was a vernissage of uh, four exhibitions. Uh, from Baltansky and Holzer uh, about uh, Babi Yar tragedy uh, that will last to the January and um, uh, an exhibition from the private collection of Viktor Pinchuk Foundation and uh, of young Ukrainian artists and uh, really interesting. We talk about the cultural digitalization in Ukraine. What's the, the, main, uh, the main idea and how it happens? You know, I want to tell you a story, not actually the story, but uh, when I came to Ivana Frankisk, I came there for the first time just two or three months ago. Um, I met a lot of artists and writers from that region that use their local mythology, local uh, culture, local tales and local history because it, it very uh, varies from the one of the east of Ukraine and I'm from the east of Ukraine, from Kharkiv. Uh, and I was really surprised about all this and they're really talented and they're really, uh, you know, personalized and um, it's something really uh, precious there that based on their local con context. And then they move to Kiev and only in Kiev they have the possibility to be, uh, to, to, to have a big audience because in Ivana Frankivsk and in Kiev, you know. How to make culture profitable? A good example of this is the United Kingdom, which earns uh, around 80, 84 or 85 billion pounds per year only on the cultural and entertaining spheres. So how to make this change in Ukraine? Um, actually we're taking this experience uh, and uh, we're applying, uh, I mean I know a lot of festivals and events and locations uh, that uh, apply um, for Creative uh, Europe grants uh, and uh, Creative Capital um, and Cultural Capital, you know that program. Uh, the problem is that uh, uh, we have no war and uh, because of economic reasons uh, we, uh, we don't have a lot of budgets to, to make some really big things. That's why we have only, you know, 10 big events uh, on the summer, but not uh, 100, like for example in Great Britain. What if uh, the, Ukrainian, the Ukrainian culture had more influence before the, the events in the Eastern Ukraine? Would it make uh, the situation different? Absolutely, and maybe the lack of the culture uh, is one of the reasons of the actual situation now. Because every exhibition in Pinchukar Center shows us um, the actual state of our society and uh, of our country. And it's very important to understand that. And to understand uh, this uh, uh, role and uh, this uh, mission of the culture. Because society can't develop without culture. Thank you, Daria, for joining us today. We were talking about main art events in Kiev and Ukraine in general and about uh, trends in Ukrainian culture. My name is Serge Chechko, thank you for watching us, see you soon.